Hey, what's going on, Buckeye Extra blog page viewers? I hope you're having a very good week again, as I've been talking about all month long. This is, if you're listening to this show, you must be a sports fan, so you, like me, hopefully are in the best month of your life right now. March, you got basketball, you got NFL free agency news, you got spring football, which I'm about to get into, you got baseball, you got soccer, you got everything in the world you could ever need. So, hope that's helping your home life, your personal life, everything. I hope that it's just easier for you this month. It is for me. So I'm going to do the Thursday three for this week. And I did some hoops last week. I did best shooters in the NBA, part of uh, Ray Allen not coming back for this season. And so I thought I could go college basketball, but I did some things on the show where I, I did some March Madness buzzer beaters on the show this week. So I thought I'd go a little spring football. And you may have heard, I'll give away one right off the top. Sam Hubbard. You may have heard my love affair for him because all the th when we get into spring football, we try to we don't really need to see the guys that we saw last year. It's it's about finding those unknown commodities that could help your football team in the future. It's like what Michael Thomas was. He was always a spring game warrior, but he never really did anything until last year. Well, now he's one of the few known guys as far as wide receivers go for Ohio State. So I'm not looking at those. I'm looking at three guys here that have not really gotten a chance to do anything for Ohio State yet, but I'm very intrigued to see what they can do in this very next football season. So three of the younger dudes for Ohio State football that I'm intrigued to watch in spring football and see where they come out at the end of it. So starting off, I'm going to look at a wide receiver who's actually been spotted in the first couple of practices, practices here playing that H-back role behind Jalen Marshall, and that's Johnny Dixon. And all three of my guys here are from the 2014 recruiting class. That class could turn out to be, like, like almost all of the Urban Meyer recruiting classes so far, monstrous. Dixon, though, we're in number one. He's actually the only guy on this list that actually has stats recorded. These guys have played sparingly, if at any. And he's coming off an injury, Johnny Dixon. But he had four carries for 20 yards. So he got some action. The image here, which you can barely see, again, are special effects. He's getting a rush in the Kent State game early in the season. And remember talking about him on when it used to be the Buckeyes show last year with Bobby Carpenter because he, you know, he's still stacked. He still thinks that he's playing, which is great. It keeps him in shape. I'm, it's guy's a mammoth of a man. If I looked like that, I probably would want to keep looking like that as well. So I don't blame him. And he gets the Woody Hayes Athletic Facility to work out in. He's around there all the time. And he noted about Johnny Dixon that he had never really seen a guy at his age coming in with his body as ready. I mean, he's listed as 5'11", 200 pounds. I would imagine that was that hasn't been updated in a while. The, on, that's the official Buckeye page website that says that. He might be heavier than that now, but when I heard Bobby talking about how stacked this guy was and how strong he was just coming in as a true freshman, that really tells you something. So I really look forward to this guy. Offensive line is another place that you're pretty happy about. But when a right tackle position, and Daryl Baldwin, he's leaving, you, you feel pretty good about it, but you're also not concerned, but excited, intrigued to see who is going to win a competitive battle for a right tackle spot. You've got some older guys in a, in a Chase Ferris. You've got younger guys, which where I go to number two on my list, Jamarco Jones, the highest rated kid of the 2014 class, rated higher than the other two that are up here. Sam Hubbard is going to be my number one. I've already given that one away. But Jones, he was described coming out of high school as a kid with some versatility. The thought was he would maybe play left tackle when it's all said and done, but he could play other spots of the line, can fit into that spread system. Right tackle is what everybody's going to be going for, so I would love to see how one of the younger guys plays, and maybe you can get a, a nice little run of a guy who gets in as a sophomore and gets three solid years to start, a guy who can really get some traction and get some experience. I think Jamarco Jones is a guy who can do that. Demetrius Knox had the injury, so that's too bad for him. Marcellus Jones, Kyle Trout, some of the other names, younger offensive linemen to watch out for battling for this. And then Sam Hubbard, again, I've talked about him on the show. I have a love affair for a kid who I've never really even seen play football. He was a lacrosse kid, Cincinnati, Paul Keels, you went to Moeller, Paul Keels High School, I guess. Went to Moeller, in-state kid. He's just ballooned as far as his work in the weight room. 
He's the only guy on the entire Ohio State website, again, listed as a defensive end. Everybody else is just listed as a DL, defensive lineman. He strictly is in there as a DN, 6'5", 245 pounds. He might be bigger than that by now. The stories that Urban Meyer was telling about this kid on his call-in shows last year, about how it was a sin to not be able to get this kid on the field. He's intriguing, the most intriguing for me, the most intriguing freshman who hasn't, you know, redshirt freshman, whatever he's going to be, who hasn't done anything for Ohio State yet, but I just can't wait to see what he becomes when he gets some playing time this year. Johnny Dixon, Jamarco Jones, Sam Hubbard. Three guys I'm really interested to watch in spring football. That's the Thursday three. You got ideas. You can be outside of sports. Tweet them at me, at Tim Hall 971 Thanks for watching. I will see you. I won't see you, but... You know, I'll talk with you on the show this week. Thanks.